Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Special edition of Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. You know, we have our little commercials that says what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. However, you come to Vegas and you break the law, when you leave here, your record's gonna go with you. Uh, you don't wanna come here and come on vacation, leave on probation. That'll be your motto instead of what happens here stays here. So come here, have a good time, enjoy this fabulous strip, and uh, remember, you just can't do anything. And like I just got a call here, we got two males fighting in one of our fast food restaurants down here on the strip. In front of the business, white male 3610, 130, blonde hair and a gray outfit. Got me blonde hair and a gray Who were you fighting with? Took off walking, he was wearing like brown shorts, white guy with like red hair. Okay. Just right to the right. Yeah, I think we got him. Patrol 665, I'm gonna be out with one. Uh, we're to the rear of the Westward Hall. Copy. Yeah, I mean, he's got a problem. He looks a little amped up. What's going on? He was, uh, I leave the ground, so what? I don't know what happened. Step to the car and take your hands out of your pockets. Take your hands out of your pockets and step up to my car. That's the second time I've asked you. You're making me nervous. Take your hands out of your pockets and step up to my car. Take your hands out of your pockets and Don't resist. Now put your hands behind your back, or are you going to get the taser? I'm trying. Put your hands behind your back. Man, you know what's up. Man, you know I'm trying. Man, just shut up. Wrong answer. Shut the f up. Let your hands go. Let your hands go. You know I was trying. Trying to do what? Trying to let you arrest me. Sit up. You know what's up. Sit up. Now we're going to stand up. The only way I'm going to arrest you. You ready? We're going to stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Now we're going to stand in front of the car. That's what I asked you earlier, right here. You know. Listen, listen. Sit down. No, 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 Sit down. You know what? No, 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 no. Sit down. Sit down. I will sit down. Sit down. How do you want me to sit down? On your butt. Ah, there you go. What is your problem tonight? What is your problem? Because people trying to harass me. For what? What's your first name? White. What's your first name? Eric. Eric what? I don't want to release that. How much have you been drinking? With? Huh? Five, five beers. How old are you, man? 22. Where's your ID? In my wallet. Where the f do you think it is? Do you have anything in your pockets that you know about? In my back right wallet. Yeah, you keep it up with this attitude, you're gonna be in jail tonight. Man, you know that, right? How so the hell do you, you think you I can am? you can chill out or you can go to jail. Are right, you ready? We're gonna stand up again. No. Straighten, straighten your legs out. No. Straighten your legs out. That hurts. Stand up so you can stand up. Come on. Slide that your hurts. slide your legs. You ready? That hurts. Stand man. up. Let's go. You ready? Let's go. No. Let's go. Stand up. One, two, two three. three. Ah. Let's walk to that car. Ah. Come on. Let's take him out back Come over on. by the MDs. Come on. Come on. You Let's know what? Go. I'll just Let's walk go. him over. Come on. Come on, man. I hate that you. Him. The uh, guy Do in the white. To... Ah! You know, I didn't know what you had in your pocket, and that's why you're in this situation now. Should have just showed me your hands. Have I done anything to you? Let me go, man. Come on, come on, walk. That hurts. I, I'm going to take him off if you relax. As soon as you relax, I'm going to take him off. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Right here, B. Right here. Turn around. Right here. Right here. Come on. Right here. Stand right there. Stand right. Relax. Relax. 
Right there. Let me go! I didn't Re do nothing. Search me. Relax, no, I haven't. I didn't do nothing. We need to search. You got anything illegal? Drugs or anything like that? Absolutely not. All right. I don't, I don't do drugs. You just been drinking a little bit tonight? <laughs> yes. All right. Are right, you in the military? No. You're not in the military? Who My are you here with? Is. Who are you My here with? My brother wouldn't let me. I'm going to put him in the car. OK. Right, so Man. Well, stand up. Let's go. I'll come on, come on. All you got to do is tweak it up. He don't want to have nothing to do with that. But I'll open your door. You always got to be careful around here. You, you can look at people and and tell the people that it's gonna cooperate. You can also tell the people who are not. I can see him tense up. I can't sit like this. Ah! I can't sit like this, you bitch! I told you. Man, I ain't trying to do that to you. You wanna go home or you wanna go to jail? Right now it doesn't really matter. It should matter, because you, you don't wanna be in jail with your attitude tonight. What you trying to try me with? What's your trying to try Just with? Conduct. All right. Okay. He was leaning over this guy in the hat right here, saying, "Let me see your ID. Let me see your ID, you Asian bitch. You don't Just belong in my weird. country." Yeah. And uh, the guy was ignoring him for like ten minutes. He was uh -huh. doing it fifteen minutes, and he's like leaning over, spitting on him. You Asian trash. You okay. trash. Get out of my country. So this guy got up, and was saying, "You know, go go away. You know, go inside the store. Leave me alone." Right. And um, he was on the phone. And he pushed him. Wow. And so that's when I came over and I said, hey, knock it off. And right. He started calling us monsters. And Did he know, do anything? Did he hit you or do anything? He tried to attack the other guy I was with. And then he, he pushed him away. And then he had to go. And then that's when he started walking away. And we called again. And that's when we came up on him. Yeah. And then the manager was coming out. And all the managers are like minorities. We're all minorities. And he's just, you know, racial slurs, slurs and, and stuff like that. Yeah. OK. What's his deal? He, he said that if we let him go, people here are going to kill him. What, uh, what actually went down? Yeah, I walk up on him. Uh, he's got his hands in his pocket. Now, I'm watching his hands, and then I see his hands ball up in his pocket. I'm like, oh, wow, did he just grab something? Or is he coming out with the fisticuffs? Uh, again, I ask him, and, and, and when he doesn't comply, I'm already too close to, to back off or to do anything. You know, I'm behind my car. So um, then I said, you know what? I need to get a hold of his arm. I need to get that arm quick before he does anything. Then I just jump on him. I flip him over, and we get the handcuffs on him. You know, he's not hurt. He's not complaining of any injury. And if he could just listen to what I said, we wouldn't be here. You know what I mean? So now he needs to go to jail. He's not going to listen to his mom. He won't listen to us. So he's definitely not going to listen to her. Let's just go ahead and take him to jail and, and be done with it. Okay. I've been working on this strip for at least three years, and it's still a lot of fun. Meet people from all over the world doing all sorts of things. And, and there's a white car just stopped in the middle of the road in front of the Flamingo. Guy just jumped out. He just grabbed the six foot ornamental flamingo off the lawn. I'm gonna have to back up. I just saw a guy grab a plastic flamingo from the Flamingo Hotel. He didn't see me, but he's right over here in a white car. Get out of the car now! Control in front of my car. Control three, Mary. Put your hands on the hood. Both of you. In front of the Flamingo Hotel. You got two suspects. They just grabbed the Flamingo from uh, in front of the hotel, threw it in their car. Put your hands together and stop screwing around. What were you thinking? I wasn't on. It was just falling over. I was. It was falling over. I was doing a college stunt. That includes stealing. That includes he stopping on the street. What was he doing? He was just being a stupid it college was kid. Over. And okay, so tell me the whole stunt. He was being. He, he, was... he said, "You see that thing oh, laying on there? Go grab the boy. Just jump down and grab it." But I wasn't going to steal. That's why I threw it down and jumped out of the car. He's got a little drugs on him, too. So you just came up here to grab Flamingo. Well, he came up here with a bunch of friends. Yeah. And they gave him a prank to do, and, uh... And what was the prank? His prank was to pick up the Flamingo and take it. 
And he got cold feet and said, no, I'm not going to do it and threw it back in the bushes. He didn't get cold feet because he saw me on the other side of the road, right? No, we, didn't, we, didn't really see, didn't see anybody. we didn't see you until, until we got right here. Uh, we had no clue you were there. No clue. And, and whose marijuana was it? Yours? The joint was mutual. Been arrested before? Many times. Sir. For what? Another college prank? No, I've been in, in a lot of trouble in the past. For what? Well, I was not witness to murder back in 91. Well, you don't get in trouble for being a witness. Well, I seen it and didn't turn him in, so I got in trouble for not turning him in. You're 26? Yes, sir. You ever been arrested? Yes, sir. For what? Um, I got my... Besides stealing flamingos. No, my, my friend... It was a prank. Uh, I'm talking to him. I didn't steal that. You grabbed it, you ran it with was it. On the I didn't run with it, I had to do Let me ask you something now. If somebody's purse is laying on the ground, you wouldn't pick it up? We found a. Uh, that, that doesn't even belong to you. We found a jacket and we returned that earlier today. Okay. It was just, so you're a good Samaritan, just got caught up in a bad situation? He came down upstairs. here with his friends in Colorado. They, they offered him a prank. He got cold feet and threw it in the bushes. What's the prank for? It was just some stupid they told me to do. I didn't even want to do it anyways. Just so well, why would you even things. attempt to do it? I didn't. I got yeah, out of no, the what do you mean? I imagine you jumping out of the car, grabbing a like, flamingo. It was like nerves. I went to do it, and I'm like, no, I can't do this. He's so I been put it drinking. Down. Well, here comes the flamingo. So this is what they took? This is what they took. Uh, attempt at theft. <laughs> OK, so how much? <laughs> We're worth 400 bucks a piece. OK, any damage? Uh, not that we can see, really. No it's up, it's just a little knock, uh, a knock right here uh, on the back of the, uh, the flamingo. Yeah. They dropped it in the street and knocked a big old hole in it. And that's not something just patched? They got to actually replace it? Yeah, that's something, yeah, they got to actually replace it because of the fact that it's all prefabricated. Molded, yeah. yeah molded. Okay. What are you guys going to do with this thing, huh? Hey, hey, tell us. tell us. going to put you in jail. Tell the truth, tell the truth. You threw it back because you couldn't fit it in the car. No, no, I didn't try. I didn't get it out to the street. I could barely pick it up, that's why. And I got scared, well, dude. I actually you picked it out over the bushes. I saw you. Huh? You picked it right over the bushes. I know, but pulling it, it was like halfway leaning over. I leaned it over, and then once I picked it up, they went. You know that cost 400 bucks? Really? I'm glad it's not broken. I didn't, I didn't. Well, it is broke. It's got a chip on the back. Yeah. All this prank. You're 30. 33. Read him. 33. Read him. Me, him and his Colorado buddies. Yeah, he's 24. I got sucked into a college prank. It went sour. But he's in, if it. I got sucked into a college prank. You're prayer. supposed to grow out of that. When is that going to happen? Um, hopefully. So you're telling me a 24 year, old, 24 year old sucked you in. Are you that gullible? Do we look that gullible? Did you or did you not say to him in the car, dude, go grab it? No, I didn't say nothing. He's like, hey, my fraternity guy said, hey, you have to grab that. And I, I just kind of went along with it because I'm an idiot. I went along with it because I'm an idiot. Well, my sergeant is coming over now, and you can explain to him what's going on. All right, Pete, what are we doing them now? We're going to do it for what? Tim K and Larceny, both of them. OK. Do they know what they go to jail for now? Yeah, they're not happy about it. So they don't think it's funny no more, right? No, he's all worried about some girl up there looking at him. She's just the only girl who talked to me all night. Now she sees me getting arrested and going to jail. I tell you what, what started out as a big joke ain't going to be a joke no more. Stole a flamingo from the Flamingo Hotel on Las Vegas Boulevard. What were you thinking? My parents brought the family to Las Vegas in 1985 when I was 11 years old, so I grew up here. I've seen the town change, buildings go up, buildings come down, uh, people move in, people move out. Um, it's fast paced, but growing up here, it just becomes a way of life. That's all you know, it's different than the Midwest feel. But uh, I enjoy it, I, I love working for the department. Um, got a lot of people, love the people I work with. Probably never leave Vegas. Uh, right now we're uh, back in this unit on a traffic stop. Unknown way. Uh, just pulling them over. Just give my hand. Sir, you have ID? You? Does it matter? It does not matter. Can you pass your ID to the officer on the window over there? Thank you. 
and the passenger in the back seat, can I see your ID? Anybody ever been arrested? Traffic stops, anything like that, anywhere in the world? Just nothing. How about you, young lady? Ever been arrested for anything? That would be a yes. <laughs> what would that be? Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> OK, what would it be? For solicitation. Just that? She uh, been popped before for prostitution? She said so, yeah. yeah. Put your knees on the bumper. Put your knees on the bumper. Put your pocketbook on the hood. Do you have anything on you I need to be concerned about? Um, no, not at all. OK, put your hands behind your back. Come on, put it like a crane. Two warrants, one for trespass, the other for soliciting prostitution. You know that? Oh, really? How long ago? Oh, I'll have to check the dates. OK. It can't be too long. Who are the gentlemen in the car? Who is what? Who are the gentlemen in the well, car? Well, I just met the one driving not too long ago. OK. You understand this is not our first day out here? What do you mean? And that you are a prostitute, a known prostitute? And you're in the car with those two guys? So okay, you're either well, I'm working for them. them or working on them. Actually, they don't even know what I do, <laughs> which is why I didn't want to say it too loud when you asked me what I've been arrested for. Okay. Now, if you're going to lie to me like that, you're oh, no, going to go. I'm not lying. You're working. You're an officer of the law. Well, yeah, exactly. I told you what I got arrested for. So, you, what, did you just pick them up and you're going to work tonight? No, I just met them. Or they're your and you just don't want to say it. No, I don't know. So oh, the only one that I know is the one that's driving. What's his name? D. I know him as D. D? Yeah, just met him not too long ago. How long ago? Where are you staying? Me, I'm staying with a friend over on Charleston. Okay, step out for me. Step in front of my car. Step out for me. Go ahead and step to the back. They're not admitting it, but female just met this guy. And passenger doesn't know who the female is. She has priors for prostitution. These guys aren't coming back with anything locally. What normal person has nine cell phones in their truck? I have no idea. You have them. I understand that. I just told you I got new service yesterday. Right now I found a book with names. It has a, a numerous, numerous names of females. And then it says whether they're white, Asian, black, Hispanic. Um, normally, uh, pimps will have books that say uh, black female. That way, when people call up, hey, I want a black girl, I want a white girl, they have the names, they have how tall they are, what they look like. Um, he's got nine cell phones in here. Uh, actually, 10. I just found another one. He says he doesn't work, but he's driving a $80,000 vehicle here. Who's this guy? Do you know him? Is he a friend of yours? <laughs> Donald? She knew Donald. That's a girl. It's a girl that I met last night. And matter of fact, I think that's probably her black purse, to be honest with you. Oh, to be honest with me? It's funny how your story just unfolds when I give you some information. Another one of your girls? She's not one of my girls. I met her yesterday. Yeah? There she goes. That's her. That is, Most she... pimps hold on to their girl's ID so they can hold it over their head. This looks like a uh, pimp's book where he keeps track of all his females, where he drops them off at, and, and keeps track of who they're with and what customers and whatnot. With their names, who, what kind of friends they're with, all kinds of stuff. You've got women's shoes back there. You don't know about the purse that's in the back. No, that purse I don't You don't know. know her, or you only knew her for a little bit, but yet you have two of her credit cards. That purse I don't know about. It's in, no. it's in your vehicle. I have no idea. I meet a lot of girls that go in and out of the car. I'm a handsome dude, and the car is very attractive, so. OK, whatever. Don't play me for a fool. I'm not playing you, officer. I'm very serious. I'm very serious. That's why I keep that little book there to keep me so I know who's calling you. It's not the first day. I've seen those I books many, that. many times. I have no times. idea how anyone else operates, but that's how I keep oh, it. You're, I oh, a, you know what? You're original. You, you are original. The diamond <laughs> earring, earring in your ear, the big rims, the H2. You are original. You are original. I'll give you that. And Escalade Tiny with T2 
face or with white face. Larisha, light skin at Boulevard Mall, short white face. 17 years old. At the bus stop. He's probably holding the IDs, hanging them over their head with the uh, with uh, the credit cards. So you know, obviously the girl, working girls never have any money. They usually right. carry cash. They don't have cars because that's what they hold over their head. They don't have IDs. Yep. Right now, what's going to happen is you're going to jail for the license plate light. Okay, is the initial charge, and then the possession of credit card without owner's consent. All the charges, uh, five, six, seven, eight. She's going to jail. And then uh, we're going to impound all this stuff, including your book. Your vehicle's going to be towed. You'll go to jail. She'll go to jail. Be done with it if you want to play games, OK? 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. OK, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Coverage code 3. Thanks, Ted. David 2514 can transmit on tech 2. OK, we'll still send it code 3.